What's up subscribers and newcomers, it's Regina here and to welcome back to another Reading My Old Stories. Now, I've got another story here, this is from the same book that I read the last one and I don't know why I can't find the other one. There was like another book that I had and it was really funny, it was something about an angry blue carrot, I remember that much and yeah, I don't know, I don't know where it went, I really wish I could read that one to you guys, it made me laugh so much when I came back to it when I found it. Um, but for now... Where is this damn story? Now, it's just going to be another one. Is this the right, is this even the right, but did I grab the wrong book? Did, did I grab, did, did, did I grab the wrong book? Probably. Yes, I think I grabbed the wrong book. Oh my god, I'm so professional. I am so professional. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, I, f I could read this one, but this one is too long. Uh, so this is the wrong book. Be right back, guys. Sorry for this inconvenience. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I'm so professional. You know, you know, I'm actually a professional YouTuber. Do you know that? You know that? Yeah. Can't believe I grabbed the wrong book. Okay. So this one is called The Bounty Hunter, and um, this is the this is the book, by the way. This is the book, as you can see, class three. That means I was in Pounds Point School. I think I was like year, year five or something. But this one's called The Bounty Hunter, and um. It's a book about Oddwood Stranger's Wrath, if you haven't heard about that game before. Oh, damn it, stupid camera. Oh, okay, that, that'll do. Okay, uh, so there you go, let's get this started. Alright, everyone, get comfy, uh, grab some popcorn, some fizzy, if you have any fizzy drinks. I don't know, just, just get comfy, because it's going to be a little short story, so uh, yeah. Alright, once upon a time... A long time ago, there lived a bounty hunter. He was quite tall and was on the lookout for Loot and Juke. He was a bounty that was coming to the village to destroy the villagers. The villagers needed him in jail. They all because they all knew that he was coming for them. The bounty hunter scooted as fast as he could until he came across a tree. There was a piece of paper that was nailed to the tree in big letters it said wanted loot and juke heading for samson village not samsung samson samson village the bounty hunter knew the right destination to go to go and find loot and juke the bounty hunter also knew he had henchmen to guard him loot and juke knew also that the bounty hunter was coming for him but he knew that his henchmen would hold the bounty hunter off before the bounty hunter got to him the bounty hunter reached Samson Village. Okay, uh, he couldn't see Loot and Juke and his filthy henchmen, but he could see a small patch of blood. The bounty hunter knew, absolutely knew, that he was in there somewhere. He heard a snap. The bounty hunter looked and looked, but couldn't see anything. The bounty hunter went down to Samson Village. He heard a beep. It was a tiny beep. But the beat got louder and louder and louder until a massive rocket came out of a building. The bounty hunter dived for cover as Lu and Luton and Duke and his henchmen came out of the building. They looked around for the bounty hunter, but they couldn't see him or find him. But then the bounty hunter swooped down and destroyed his henchmen. Then he turned around but couldn't see Luton and Duke anywhere. There was a big blast and Loot and Juke came out of the building again. The bounty hunter ran past Loot and Juke and up a rope. Loot and Juke tried to shoot the bounty hunter but missed. But the bounty hunter also had a gun that had ammo that was animals and insects. Like chipmunks, spiders, zap flies, skunks, knockouts, as uh, knockouts are actually called, thud slugs, knockouts, boom bats and sting bees. He shot Loot and Juke with some sting bees and zap flies and quickly shot a boom bat and then... And, a knockout jumped off and, and and then a knockout jumped off the building and captured him alive, then brought him to the bounty store in Buzzton. 
then got a reward of a thousand dollars for bringing Luton Duke to jail. So, this was just a quick story. There is another story in here, but it's mainly just sound effects, and you probably won't be able to even even. God, I can't speak. You probably won't even be able to tell what is going on. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Also, um, so leave a comment and subscribe because I'll be trying to send out more videos. People who said I was quitting YouTube, I'm not quitting YouTube, not yet. Uh, even though I don't earn anything, it's just for fun. But, uh, anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, Regenerate, signing out. See you guys.